and welcome back to the morning show. A singer and musician who spent part of her childhood right here in the Bay Area has shot up to international fame. And like 1% of American children, Kokoni has been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. And she is kind enough to join us now live in studio to talk about that. Thank you so much for being here. And I have to say how beautiful you are. Oh, and thank thanks you. for being here this early this morning. We're talking, first of all, about your unusual name, Kokoni. You say it's made up, but it actually means something. Yeah, um, my mom was very influenced by Coco Chanel, so she wanted to call me Coco, but then uh, my British grandmother said, oh, you can't do that. You know, she'll get made fun of at school because Coco the Clown was really popular at the time. <laughs> so mom and dad were watching sumo wrestling one time, and uh, all of their names ended in knee, so they thought, oh, Coco knee. Oh, my goodness. So that's and how it was stuck. made up. Yeah, and yeah. it's working because it's so unusual and very memorable. Now, tell me a little bit about, you were not diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder disorder until you were 19 years old. What did you think was going on before that time and what were some of the things that happened that made you know that, okay, I'm a little different? Yeah, well, I was, I was very quiet. I, I didn't really speak properly um, with confidence um, and like eye contact until I was like 18. Mm -hmm. So it took me a long time to come out my shell. Um, I got bullied a lot at school. I had problems with teachers wanting to um, put me on Ritalin because they thought I had ADD or whatever. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I wouldn't be able to focus. I, I learned things differently. I could look out the window and be taking on what the teacher was saying, but they thought I wasn't paying attention, so I kind of got a hard time. So eventually mom had to take me out of school because it got too, too much, too stressful. M mom knew there was something, but she didn't know, obviously, exactly, exactly what, what it was. Mm -hmm. So she homeschooled me a lot, and uh, or I went to um, do a few years, say at like Montessori school, where it was a smaller classroom, sure. so more focused on the students, you know, rather than a, a big classroom. Yeah. And, and, and there were things that were happening, for example, because I think it would help that people who are watching this right now, they don't know what's going on with their child or with them. Mm -hmm. You say that periods of time would pass, it would feel like two minutes, but it would be two hours. Oh yeah, I have no concept of time, even um, at this stage, you know, you could ask me how much time has passed and it's completely wrong, D can't gauge time, very, very bad with navigation, mm -hmm. um, organizing myself, uh, so I have to have my mom with me to kind of do all the technical things sure, sure. when it comes to the singing stuff. So yeah. I have no problem getting on stage, doing my thing, looking confident, oh my, whatever. And beautiful. <laughs> and so being diagnosed at 19, how did that change your life? Because you're 25 now. How did that diagnosis help you? Well, um, it was it was good to know that it wasn't all in my head, that I wasn't some weirdo or yeah. something, that there was a reason for my behavior. Um, and I've been very lucky that I've come across alternative things that have helped. Um, I like, um, you know, keeping to a very clean diet. Yeah. Uh, um, and uh, you can stay off all kinds of different things to, sure. to help with it, you know. You just have to know what works for you and yes. do the research after the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Kokoni, it is so nice to meet you and you are so beautiful and thank you so much for being here this morning. That's okay, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> all right, meteorologist Bobby Deskins joins us now. He's outside on the Leaders Casual Furniture Weather Deck and Bobby, I hope you've been watching your monitor to see how beautiful she is. That's amazing. I know, that, right? That is amazing and to have the nerve to do what she does. I know. To get up on stage, just, just amazing and and tell her don't feel bad I have no idea about time either <laughs> producers are always rapping me they yeah. say you got two minutes and I just keep on going I'll uh, share that with her thank you 